Hey guys, I'm Rob from Epic Dungeon Tiles and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to create ladders for your tabletop RPGs and wargaming. I'll quickly show you the sort of end product. So here's one of them. You can see it looks, well, it's a bit dark, but yeah, you'll see it in the videos. This is a pretty cool one. It's got like matchsticks throughout it, um, really easy to build and works really well. Uh, one that is really nice is this one, which is sort of like stairs, ladders, but because it's on an angle, it sits really nice on the table, but also you can put your miniatures on there really, really easily. If you don't have any materials to hand, you can also just use foam board, really quick and easy, um, cheap as well. And then one that turned out a little bit smaller than I thought was the 3D printed one. Um, it's really good, uh, really useful, but it looks a little bit small. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I like to do is to have the option of putting my minis on there. So if I can, I go a little bit, just a little bit over an inch. And if you cut the mitt like roughly an inch, you, you'll be all right. But just go slightly over an inch with the width, then you can actually sit standard bases in between there. Let's head on over and we'll start making some ladders. I say head on over. It's, it's, I just need to turn around, it's right here. Okay, the first ladder is the uh, lollipop slash popsicle stick ladder. This one's pretty easy to make and I really like it because you can put your minis directly on it and they're really stable. So I start off by marking out six, well I don't, I don't do six initially, but I realise I need six pieces of lollipop stick, about an inch or just over an inch. I think I did these slightly smaller, but I use round bases, but if you want your minis to sit on there, you do it slightly over an inch. And then I mark the angles for the ladder, just do a slight angle on there so that when you glue them on, you'll, you'll be able to see where they're going to sit. Cut them out. I realise I didn't. I had one missing. And then next I just cut off the points on the end of the ladder so that they're the same angle. So when you glue this all together and place this down, it'll, it'll sit really flat, but it'll sit at a slant. So then I just run a small amount of hot glue just to hold it in place. And I do this with all the stairs as I go along. You can see my hair is getting in the way a little bit. I could probably do have a haircut. <laughs> Just keep placing them along. Just want to make sure they're roughly the, the right angle and any excess just use a spare bit of stick just to wipe down. Because the hot glue will leave like quite a big chunk of glue, but just wipe that down. And there you go. And then for this next bit, I basically cover all the joints in PVA and I use clamps instead of the hot glue. Um, it'll hold a lot better in the long run. The hot glue tends to not be quite as strong. Um, I skip this bit, but basically what I do afterwards is I go in with a paintbrush and just paint that a little bit, the PVA glue, just to get it in there. Okay, next one. This is my favourite method, and this is probably the one I'll use going forward as well. Just a strip of thick balsa wood. And then it's about seven inches so I just cut that in half and then we take off the corners with an exacto knife just so it looks like old timber as opposed to brand new you can kind of gouge into it a bit as well so it doesn't look even and then I just poke a few holes in just to make it look like knots in the wood Uh, it's interesting, but if you're not sure what material to use sometimes on projects, generally speaking, the best material is probably 
the material that you're trying to recreate. So for like wooden ladders, balsa wood, uh, popsicle sticks, for like small bits of rock, use little bits of rock. <laughs> uh, it seems stupid, but that was one thing that I didn't really think about when I first did it. I was basically carving everything out of foam and it doesn't really make sense. Okay, so I just measure about a centimetre down on each and then I'm drilling through with the pin vise. You want to find a drill bit that's just slightly smaller than the cocktail sticks because that will mean you can just press fit them in with the glue. So I put the glue right up to those holes and just push it so that it actually goes into the holes as opposed to just on top. Uh, do that again. This bit is a little bit trickier. It took me a while, so I kind of skipped it. But effectively, you just feed them into the the holes and then slide it down. Uh, cut off the excess. Keep them for later projects because the spikes come in handy quite a lot on cocktail sticks. And there it is. That worked really well. Okay. And if for some reason you don't have any sort of wood materials on hand, you can always just use foam board or cardboard. It's not my favourite method for this, but, you know, in a pinch you can still use it quite easily. Just cut out the same sort of um, three and a half inch lengths and then just over an inch in between. And then we glue them all together. Just hot glue these. This sticks together pretty well with hot glue, the foam board. The foam board ladder came out a little bit better than I thought, but um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't choose to do it, mainly because of the painting and the texture. Okay, the twine slash rope ladder um, is probably one I'm never going to make again, ever, unless I just glue it directly onto something, because it takes ages, it's not fun, and the end result looks okay. find out it's way quicker just to cut this with a sharp knife than with the scissors. For some reason my scissors are a little bit blunt. Well I say for some reason it's covered in glue and paint. And then effectively you just tie them. So you don't even really need glue here. You just tie the knots until you have a ladder. So you tie one small bit onto one small onto one of the long sections and then do the same on the other side and then you just continue all the way down until you've got a ladder. It's quite cool if you haven't for some reason haven't got any glue on hand you can you can quickly make a ladder. The only thing I did do which I don't show in the video is I covered the ladder in PVA glue so that it had more structure to it so I could place it as opposed to it just falling over. So I've not done that but yeah but you can see there it is this is a 3d printed ladder and it came out a lot smaller than i thought but it looks really cool in the end it's just quite small okay so here we go we've got the four crafted ladders i think i put the rope ladder up and you'll see it's got a bit more structure to it where i've covered it in pva so it kind of stands there which is quite cool and then I put the minis on, and the minis go on all three of those really well, so that's that's awesome. Next, I finish them all with a really dark brown burnt umber, and I paint that over all four of them. Next, I use country maple, but you can also use golden uh, golden brown, I think it is. Um, both of them turn out really well. The The country maple looks slightly more realistic, whereas the golden brown gives you a really nice kind of stylized look. You can see where we cut the corners off the ladder. It creates that kind of uneven timber look, which really helps. If you didn't do that, it, it would look a little bit square. But Especially when I turn it around and then do it on the other side, look just, you can just see it pick up that that corner and there they are they turned out really well um the one i'm probably going to be using in the in the future is the balsa wood and cocktail sticks 
and potentially the stair ladder as well because I really like that one and inside houses that's going to work really well but for an actual ladder that you move around probably the cocktail sticks and balsa wood I'll be using. Thanks for watching the video guys and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be posting more crafting videos in the future and you can check out more from me on epicdungeontiles.com. Thank you.